You're listening to littlepodcast.com. The message said AVTL for life. <laughs> Right. There must be adult babies that aren't into diaper loading. They're just yeah. I only go shopping <laughs> in my diving bell now. Pickle Rick in the Borat swimsuit. I love my girlfriend. Do you? No. <laughs> Sounds like you fucking <laughs> hate her. Welcome to Born in the 80s. I'm your host, John Danger, joined by my co-hosts. Matt, social isolation hag. Uh, TJ, this is episode 386, which is the same amount of Pokemon in Gen 3 May. And Spanky, Spanky works on J Date, but just just Spanky on the podcast works. Unfortunately, works. this is 387, so you're gonna have to come up with another Pokemon. Oh come on, it's 386, isn't it? No, it's 387 because we did 386. Last week, I just haven't put it out yet because it's being edited and it will be out tomorrow. But that'll be a week ago if you're (laughs) listening to this now. So just take cut that out and put that into the podcast that you haven't finished. I'll just say the number seven, and you guys have to edit seven over my three eighty six. All right, and then everyone can talk about how bad I am with knowing how many Pokemon there are. Are we ready for the Rona update? Our top story today is Corona still fucking everywhere. John? Yes, it's a nightmare. There's a man. Well, uh, you guys are supposed to do face coverings now? That's what oh, they fuck. said. Are we? Yes. The Well, so the CDC is recommending everyone should put on face coverings now. Okay. Just like and, any like cloth, like a scarf. Yeah, I should be wearing a fashionable yeah. scarf. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people have made like uh, like um, masks, cloth masks, just you know, kind of DIY. I think you could put a bandana over your mouth or whatever. So, just to just to get real for a second, now the 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 mouth coverings that you're supposed to wear <laughs> you should only be doing in public. Um, All right, so I'm also part of the the mouth covering gang. We're... Matt is using tape, which I don't know is perfect. I, I, can you breathe through that, Matt? Oh yeah, I can try to breathe through. I can breathe very <laughs> well. It's, it's, it's I'm hard using, to well, TJ is putting a bag over his head, so these are probably not the best way to do this. But so they're asking people to do face coverings now, um, which is kind of contrary to what they were saying before, because they didn't want people to to basically buy all of the masks uh, yeah. so that people can't do them. But uh, the idea is, is that you should be doing masks, not because they will protect you from getting the virus. It's to just generally stop every person because you, so many people walk around asymptomatic uh, from spreading it. Because it'll yeah. stop mouth particles getting out. I think it was sometime it. this week that we found out that the uh, the, uh, the virus is most transmittable 15 hours before uh, symptoms show. Yeah. So it's it's basically, yeah, you're shedding it before you even know you're sick. So, mm, um, yep. Yeah. And it sounds like uh, they're working on uh, GM has been asked to create, to start manufacturing ventilators. There's a big problem with that, though, and this is also having to do with, uh, like, Elon Musk says he's got a stockpile of ventilators he's trying to lend out. Yeah. Most of these things that they're calling ventilators are really BiPAPs, yeah. which um, BiPAPs are basically just a mechanized version of the inflator bag. Yeah, it's um, like a CPAP. It's similar yeah. to what I what I use to sleep. But by but yeah. bidirectional. So yes, correct. In and out instead of constant it, pressure. It pushes and pulls. Whereas you have a CPAP. The, the is... problem with that is it doesn't um, <clears throat> it doesn't gauge how your diaphragm and how your lungs are actually inflating on their own as well. It's it doing depends. its own pace. Some so, of them can, but it... most BiPAPs will actually cause damage if used more than just a few hours at a time. Yeah. Um, mm. Whereas ventilators can be on for longer. You know, so metal. those BiPAPs uh, can be useful in some context, but they're not going to replace the uh, the stuff that's needed for people with severe pneumonia. But they were talking yeah. about how they could possibly be used in earlier interventions to to help people before they need the like hardcore uh, CPAP you know, when you or the ventilators. 
because I mean the the um, statistics I've seen is if if you're on a ventilator for coronavirus, you have like a fifty percent chance of surviving because it's already gotten so bad, you know. Mm, okay. So you don't want to get that far. So the idea is they want to try and stop that, and that's what all the the drug treatments that are being like the hydrochloroquine and the other uh, drugs that they're trying to do. Big thing. Right. Make sure you take it if a doctor told you to take it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just find the chemical and have it. That's yeah. why the one person died when they just yeah. like, I might be having it. Let me just take some of this. And it's, what was it the fish cleaner or whatever it is? Yeah. Yep. Somebody drank fish, fish tank cleaner. cleaner? Fish tank cleaner. Yeah. Because it was yeah. hydro- hydroxychloroquine in it or whatever. Same yeah, chemical, but that's but... like designed to kill algae and stuff. It's literal yeah. poison. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so don't do that. Um, the other thing is good to know. Yeah, so the illness actually is, is interesting. So like the virus, like people are dying after the virus is basically starting to be beaten off in their uh, <laughs> systems. Beaten off. Yeah, I know. Nah, um, beaten off. But it's because the, the the pneumonia is is like a is like a, an illness caused by the the virus. The virus isn't like it isn't like mechanically giving pneumonia. Pneumonia is just a thing that's happening because your lungs are so damaged from the virus. So even after the virus is dying off, your your lungs can't you can't breathe. So okay. that's why they're trying to figure out um, some of these therapies they can give people earlier on. And mm-hmm. and some of the problems in the U.S. is that doctors are not giving therapy until people are too far gone, basically, you know, because there's just no, they're, they're telling people to have mild illness to stay home. So if you do have, if you think you suspect you have the coronavirus, you have the symptoms of, of fever and shortness of breath and, and cough to, if you do start feeling bad, bad, talk to a doctor, like, cause yeah. they might be able to help you. But when, once it's to the point where it's too far, you, it may be, you may be in for a ride, you know, at some point. Um, and that's why young people are able to survive. Like, I think, I think one of the major things was that people were thinking, oh, uh, you know, young people will be fine. And it's no, it's just that young people, the devastation caused isn't enough to kill you. Whereas yeah. older people, the devastation. But caused I, I've heard that even you. in uh, young people, there still could be like permanent damage to your lungs after you're done. It's just probably yeah. not enough to kill you. Yeah. So important thing, talk to a doctor. Yeah, that's it, really. Uh, it, it's again, it, and it, and again, I, I do have to stress this, like heavily stress this, because I think it's something that I, you know, someone living with anxiety, you know, and, and being a bit of a hypochondriac, you just have to know that you'll see reports of you know twenty two year olds, you know, getting ill and dying, thirty year old dying from it. Those are outliers. Mm-hmm. Like the majority, the vast majority of people that even get coronavirus, even in their 50s and 60s, you know, 80% of those people just get a really bad flu for two weeks and then you get better. It's just some people with certain immune systems or pre-existing conditions is really going to be deadly on. So that's why you need, even though it may not be dangerous to you, you need to stay home because you could be carrying it and get someone who will die from it sick. And that's, that's the key. Yeah. Um, and that's why we need to have... And what other countries that have been successful in controlling this have is massive testing, is testing everyone, even asymptomatic people. Yeah. And so that we know those people who test positive have to just stay away for two weeks until they test negative. And that, that is what South Korea did. It does seem like massive. we're getting closer to that just based on like the number of confirmed cases skyrocketing so much. Like it, yeah. We're up to th- over 300,000 confirmed cases in the U.S. But, yeah. like, I, I have no idea where that is in relation to, like, how many untested people there are. I mean, there there's 300 million people in the U.S. Yeah. So. <laughs> how many tests have been done? We're just uh, too big. Too big to it's fail. Not test, it's not even about testing people once because you could be, you could test negative now and then have caught it later. So it's just saying that everyone's been tested isn't the end of it. Tests still have to continue. Mm-hmm. yeah so that's the, the 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 thing i also do is like I, you know you'll see people on facebook and twitter just posting like oh this family of four all died from it and stuff and it's like yeah again these are all outliers like these are the rarities you know and they get put on the news so i just i'm trying to like calm people down and like hey it's it's not like again like 98 percent of the people that get this especially in our age bracket are going to be fine 
You yeah. Know? Like only there's only expecting, you know, a few, you know, 5,000 people to die in Wisconsin, you know, possibly, it, you know, like, so, you know, and out of the millions of people that live in this state. So yeah. again, it it's not going to kill you. It does suck. Everything I've heard is it is just the worst flu yeah. you've ever had in your entire life. So you don't want to get this. You will be knocked out for two weeks. The first um, uh, confirmed case in my county um, just happened mm-hmm. this week too. So, well, the, county i'm currently in menominee county michigan yeah so i don't know about you guys but like whenever i have to go to the store or something i always just immediately feel like i'm sick like my brain just starts manufacturing symptoms well Mm -hmm. if you i mean i'm assuming that's also um that's also to kind of keep you in um alert mode so you're like i don't want to get other people sick and i don't want other people to get me sick and you're always yeah watching for people so you're maintaining that social distancing. You're doing it instinctively instead of uh, trying to be conscious doing it because you have other things to take care of. Like I didn't want to forget the fact that I needed like tissue paper or whatnot. Yeah. Uh, speaking of tissue paper, apparently I saw this at the Woodman's here. I, I don't know how like widespread it is, but their whole toilet paper aisle was these like unmarked packages of Charmin. That I guess Charmin was just like, fuck, how can we make as many as possible, as fast as possible? Just fuck the labels. So it's just got this like little adhesive shipping label on it that says Charmin. That works. I mean, it's what, what we got to get done. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that the grocery store at my house has started, or not near my house, not not at my house, has started taking all of them out of, of the packages and just selling them in single rolls. rolls. Yeah, and, and they're like, did they put a limit on like you can only get three rolls? Yes. Or I think I think it's like three rolls per family or something like that. Yeah. But at, at, at the end of the day, we're kind of past the the hoarding mentality on it. Uh, we're just dealing with the fact that uh, most demand for things like toilet paper has been commercial in the past, and a lot of that need has went away. So people are buying it for personal because they're pooping at home more yeah. instead of pooping out and about. Um, so there's just been a higher demand in stores and keeping up with that. has been a bit, bit more difficult. I didn't um, know it was legal to poop outside of your home. So this is news to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're a bear, you it's can do fun. it in the woods. So. Yeah. And then you get the little fucking toilet paper particles over your ass. God damn it. That, that reminds Thunder. me of something I read on Reddit about what? a week and a half ago. You read Sherman it Bears Rule 34? The, no, the whole Charmin oh, no. animated bears like the universe fuck. is about bears that have an obsession with, um, uh, with like a scat porn. Close, uh, um, ass inspections. Okay. okay, those bears are always into ass inspections. Let's check your butt. Oh, you got toilet paper particles. Let's check your butt. Like it doesn't matter where you are. I'm going on a trip. I'm on a picnic. Everyone's checking each other's ass. I mean, like, maybe they should just wear pants. I think that would maybe. solve the problem. You don't? Fair enough. Like, I don't know if I have toilet paper bits on my ass because I have pants on. Can, like can a civilized like bear. But but then the, like, My Heinie's Clean song doesn't have as much effect because you can't visually see the clean Heinie. Uh, you could be lying about the clean Heinie. Heineken. YouTube edits in the comments or in the chat says hit a fat dab. So one of you, one of you to do that. Go ahead. And do that. Um, I don't Not think me. any of us have a supplier, even though it is four twenty. What? What? Five sixty oh. three three eighty. Every day this month is four twenty. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that kind of dab. Yeah. I wish okay. I could. I wish I could uh, to dab a dab a weed. Is that what it is? Dab yeah. a fat dab. I don't know. Do a weed. It's not legal in my state. And I don't do things that are illegal because that would be illegal. I do because what the fuck is the government going to do right now? Fuck you That's guys. That's true. Were they going to come to your house for my <laughs> defense? That's another thing that, like, <laughs> we'll just say for unrelated to disease reasons, I do cough a lot. So I'm always like, when I'm in the store, I'm just like, don't cough, don't cough, don't cough. Everyone will think you have the plague. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, and then you know, <laughs> you, like, you fucking <laughs> cut to Matt in the middle of a Kroger. Just, someone cough. And <laughs> everyone's like, "Oh my god!" He's like, "It's okay. I just smoke weed. Yeah. It's not the like coronavirus." <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. You just kind of are just like. Just, every time anyone coughs in public, you just get the dirty look, and it's just mm. like it's allergy season, man. Yep, yeah, a little bit. I know. Back when uh, when my GameStop was still open, um, I was helping a customer, and I had one of those moments where I had uh, saliva go down the wrong tube. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. my body wants me to cough this. I know I need to. I'm just going to uncomfortably hold it and let it seep down past you know down my trachea and just deal with it. And I yeah. did. Um, and that's how you get pneumonia because it goes into your lungs, and now you need a ventilator. Mm-hmm. Self pneumoniaizing. Yeah, that's boys. What done now. I don't know. Does anyone else have any other Rona news before we move uh, on to something else? I just have an interesting bit that is slightly confusing. So I went to the Menards today, which if save you're not from here, it's, it's, it's like a Midwestern uh, hardware store chain. And they've banned yes. people 16 and under from being in their stores. That, I need to go out and shop now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like, I don't. I mean, I it, it, it reduces banned. the the density of people, so that makes sense. But I feel I also feel like they're just like don't like kids, and they're just like this is the perfect time. Of the trap remix, yeah, that's some good shit. Yeah, hell yeah, that's a great. <laughs> great i think spanky did you send me that trap remix i did yes yeah, dude i listen to that so i got re- <laughs> i listen to that it's frequently. a really good, good song it's a banger yeah <laughs> save big money at menards what did you get at menards you just bought uh i bought i've been working on a lot of electronics projects uh, uh because i'm here all the time so i i bought another little organizer you know those little clear like drawers that you put screws and yeah. bits and stuff in just one of those you haven't even finished your drum robot yet. Aren't you working on something else now? Uh, I'm working on a guitar pedal right now. I'm going to go back to the okay. drum robot in a bit. Mm-hmm. I got bored with Why it because you... I'm at the point in that world, like, what I need to do is software-based, and I, I find boring. that boring. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you're more of a, a hands-on guy? Yeah. If that software base can be programmed in Excel, just let me know. Because <laughs> that, that's my main program. The bread and butter. <laughs> You know, uh, the best part about the Rona is, is that I haven't done my taxes yet, and I feel no pressure to do so. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, same. I, to... I got mine done, so I, I'm already... Well, I was going to take it to somebody, and then all this happens, and now it's like, well, I guess I got to do it myself again on fucking TurboTax, and my taxes are complicated as fuck, and I hate filling it out, so... Wait, aren't, aren't, you, am... still, aren't you still sole proprietor of that one, uh... Oh, Yeah. Yeah. I'm a sole proprietor. Can't you just like okay, declare proper? bankruptcy on that or something oh, and like close it down? <laughs> no, actually, if you're if you're a sole proprietor of an LLC, you actually don't have to fill out your taxes. You just have to list in your normal regular tax form that you had zero income. Ah, uh, okay. That's it, really. I just because have to list it. It's been all but disbanded, really. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. I, we created an LLC for an improv group I was in, and then everybody quit like a week later. So. Yeah, it was really worth it to set all that up. It and was go to the trouble of filling out tax forms every year for that for the last yeah, you like, imp- five years. You improved making an LLC. Well, you could just have that yeah. LLC buy the podcast, and then I mean, it could. That's not a bad. Just idea. have it be the. Po- I mean, honestly, this could be the Experiment Royale Improv LLC's podcast. Brought to you because... by Charmin. That's, uh, that's it. No, it's it's born in the eighties. Uh, brought to you by. Uh, Experiment yeah. Royale Improv. That's right. The improv group that was Madison's voted best performing arts group. Silver. Eat award. shit monkey business. Oh, wait. Silver? Oh, oh, is, is this like a, like Spanky's uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon? But voted best beard in 1897? Yeah, it was like yeah. 2012 or something. We were <laughs> voted. We lost to the Madison Symphony Orchestra as best performing group. So Fair enough. Darn it. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. No, yeah, that was a long time ago. Many ages ago. I can't do improv now. Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah. Nobody can do improv. Or burlesque. Right, man? Uh, well, we're doing <laughs> online shows. 
I know. Uh, I heard about this. And Did um, you talk about that? That sounds interesting. Uh, <laughs> I've only I watched the first back week. Back I want Mercury yeah, There's only been two weeks. I've never, I've never talked to her. Uh, dude, she's like so stressed out and busy all the time now i don't know if that's, that's gonna happen how, wouldn't that be wouldn't you be less stressed out now uh because no like... because see it turns out when you create a business uh around entertaining and then all of the entertainment venues close then money becomes an issue mm. uh yeah so that's why they're doing the online shows, which you can go to oh, there's five star tees dot com. Uh, and so, hey guys, yeah, five star tees dot com. You can watch the quarantines, which is a stay at home strip down online burlesco. Guys, it's three dollars to rent. Yeah, Fair so, like boom. Yeah, put, put, uh, put the link in our Discord so I can get to it later. Uh, I've never seen a burlesque show, and I want to see Mercury's work because. I've been a fan of her since she wasn't Mercury. Yeah. Not for burlesque, but for the stuff here. And I think it's a really cool idea though, that she came up with to do like an online burlesque, like video it's on Vimeo. Yeah. Cause, cause so like part of the, cool. so part of the inspiration for this was like all of these performers have income that they've been relying on. And that's just yeah. gone now. And nobody yeah. knows when it's coming back. So like, what can we do to try and I'm supplement just going to like say, yeah, this is a really cool thing too, because I'm watching the trailer for for the one that just came out last night, and we've got people from Atlanta, Georgia, New York City, New York, Munich, Germany, Lodz, Poland, mm-hmm. Gopinen, Germany, and Nashville, Tennessee. This is like a worldwide collection of performers. Yeah, I've Three seen like bucks. Ireland, Scotland. Yeah, like it is. That's so cool. Like I'm gonna have to rent one of these. Uh, but I'm not going to do it now because we're recording a podcast. <laughs> but I have the link. So very cool stuff there. I just wanted to plug that because I know Mercury used to be on this show. Um, and a uh, little, little plug. She's off doing her burlesque thing now. So maybe she has time to drop by an episode now. Who knows? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> It'd be fun to have her back on. It's been so yeah. long. Um, and uh, I've, I've you, never guys. talked to her. I've never Our talked to her. The podcast were always uh, completely non-overlapping separate so. correct yeah, yeah. Lance scared her away so <laughs> I I bullied, i'd say bullied her <laughs> more, more, yeah. more accurate yeah every lance i've ever known is a bully yep. yeah yeah especially yeah, lance kind of... bass yeah what an asshole that lance bass dude i can't though i was the like being in the uh in sync or or Backstreet Boys, whichever one Lance Bass was in. Yeah, like he's in. That was the worst experience of my life because of Lance in Bass. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I remember but, that one. Yeah, yeah, but Lance Bass bullied me out before they got real big, so uh, it was weird because I was four. Mm-hmm. But you know, you were well, four? they were trying to appeal to a younger <laughs> demographic. Yeah, this is actually working as a pop filter now for me. You know nice. I mean? That and also your pop filter. I do actually have a pop filter. It is a double pop filter. It's a double pop pop situation. Plosives, plosives, plosives. Hey, just call that a pop pop filter. You guys play any video games this week? No, World of Warcraft. Mm. (laughs) Yes, I played Animal Crossing New Leaf. No, New Horizons. New Horizons. I also play. Hey, Spanky, did you get my gift? Uh, the pacifier. John sent me in Animal Crossing a pacifier cosmetic item to wear, and the message said ABTL for <laughs> life. <laughs> and I yeah. wore it for a couple days too. But then I found a kimono and it clashed, so I had to give it up. I got the. Um, I don't know. I think you could make that look good. Gave it to me, and I was like, oh, okay. And then I just <laughs> so you got a thank you. You got an ABDL villager. Yeah. I think she was testing the waters with me. She was like, "Do you like this?" Oh, thing? maybe it's yeah. maybe she's just like a rave kid from the nineties. What does what the, the DL stand for? It was adult baby. diaper lover. Diaper lover. Okay. Yep. Adult baby. So are there? A, there right. must be adult babies that aren't into diaper loving. Then, if that's if that's a thing that needs to be. Yeah, qualified. but the, the thing is that the AB crowd does not get along with the ADL crowd at all. Yeah. Yeah. And I, the elderly diaper lover crowd is just a whole other thing. 
<laughs> well, it, for them, it depends, though. Paraphilic infantilism, also known as autonophilia. Are we are we really doing another ABDL an adult baby podcast. syndrome? Is a sexual fetish that involves role playing a regression to an infant like state. Behaviors may include drinking from a bottle or wearing diapers. Diaper fetishism is another link. Individuals may engage in gentle nurturing experiences. An adult who engages in an infantile plane is known as an adult baby. Or be attracted to masochistic, course of punishing or humiliating experiences. That's diaper not how you should raise a baby. Involves diaper lovers wearing diapers for sexual or erotic reasons, who may not involve infant-like behavior. Individuals who experience both of these things are referred to as adult baby slash diaper lovers, or ABDL. When wearing diapers, infantilists may urinate or defecate in them. If we're gonna go this route, we might as well go back to Rule Thirty Four. Uh... Uh, advertising mascots. For yeah, me. Rule 34, Mr. Clean. By one practitioner is made up by two main types. Adult babies, adults who roleplay infants, and sissy babies. <laughs> who tend to wear typically female clothing and use female pronouns. What is that? What's the difference between that? So what there's like sissy? a... Like, so... Is, what? Do you know what sissies are? No. So I'm sorry, I I'm not that, ace, so I don't know all the terms. I think we're talking uh, gender play. <laughs> no, I, I, I know what sissy stands for because of I'm on Mastodon, and there's a lot of lewd people on Mastodon, mm -hmm. and uh, it's sissies um, is often, although not always, a forced feminization thing mm -hmm. uh, where, like, a, a, a boy or presenting boy character is forced into being... A, uh, a feminized sissy character. Um, I couldn't tell you much about it, and I'm probably describing it incorrectly, but I can tell you that the, the sissy diaper people are probably just sissies already that are into diapers. Matt, probably no. not a separate. <laughs> it, took me, it took me a while to read that entire link. Um, so Matt just posted a link that could get us banned on Twitch. I don't think you can get word. banned for links in chat. You're the content creator of this channel, Matt. I... Are you looking up? Are, are you looking up Rule Thirty Four for coronavirus? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 Matt posted, posted the, the five search results on oh. Rule Thirty Four Triple X for Corona. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, no. you should probably get rid of that. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I can't ban it or delete it. Actually, we I can't. can clear the there. chat. Go go to our Discord to check it out. No, no our Discord's going to attract the wrong kind of <laughs> Even no, more so. If you're into ABDL or if you're into... Face uh, mask play. Mm -hmm. no, I, I'm still into hot insurance lady, so we're fine. Also good? <laughs> I'm into anyway, all the other back insurance back to mascots. That's question at hand. Um, games in the past week... <laughs> Um, let me, let me at least start with gaming news. Um, uh, Sony, um, and Naughty Dog, um, have now announced that The Last of Us Part 2 has been delayed indefinitely. Um, because they're... What the fuck do you have up, John? <laughs> no, John! What? <laughs> ABDL... On the screen share. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. The ABDL company. Adult pacifier. <laughs> oh, man. Last of Us Part 2 has been delayed indefinitely, as well as another game that everyone forgets because they don't think it's important. Um, Iron Man VR. Which uh -oh. Is that a PlayStation VR title? It's PlayStation exclusive, yeah. Okay. Um, But uh, it doesn't matter because I still haven't played the two VR games I want to play. I haven't played Groundhog Day, Lay like Father Like Son, and I haven't played uh, Autica yet, which is Beat Saber with guns. Guys, there's one of these things that says butt stuff. It's one of the options in their store. Oh, fuck. It just Play says on. butt stuff. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have that on Twitch. <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, technically as long as you don't show the crack part, it's okay. That's true. You're right. Uh. But we've got, an old, we got cloth diapers if you want those. They're honestly more economical right now. Look at this, though. 
There's like a fucking dotty diapers f- for the adults. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. There we go. No. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, we're all going to hell. Yeah. We're already there, brother. If you're, if you're going to hit my fetish, Hi, everyone. me ahead of time, okay? <laughs> so, uh, TJ, more about VR games. Uh, so... Well, yeah, I guess the the big news is that The Last of Us is delayed indefinitely, and that's mostly because there's nobody in stores right now, and they don't want to sell it and then not sell any of them. I mean, it depends on the store. Some stores are still open. Yeah. So came from Walmart, so order directly for Amazon or ship to home for any company still doing that. Yeah, what I had heard was that it's basically done being made. They're just kind of in, like, quality control control stuff. So, like, theoretically, that could all be done. What's that? I think the game has gone gold, which, if you're not familiar with gaming industry terminology, it means that the final file is ready and ready to press into Blu-rays. Okay. But but they're still going to work on quality control that will come out as a day one patch. Yeah. So, yeah, like, that's all stuff that could be done, accomplished by people working from home, but... I think it's like really interesting for them to, the to delay it, though, because of the Rona, because, like, we're looking at games like uh, um, the Animal Crossing New Horizons is kind of, I'm assuming, is sold, like, crazy. I mean, everyone yeah. is talking. Because everyone just wants a game where you, like, pick apples and go fishing i suppose have, a game a where time. it's a post-apocalyptic wasteland <laughs> yeah it's not something people are looking into right now i don't know resident evil 3 is selling pretty well right now that's true is that a remaster when did that happen it is uh-huh. it is a complete remake yeah it's not even a remaster it's it's just a rebuild of the entire so, game like they did same thing two, they did right two. yep like with two yep okay man i should get into that I'd play some old Resident Evil games. Dude, oh, yeah, I, dude. Resident Evil 3 is so under... Every, everyone talks about 2 because it's the one with Leon. But 3 is so cool because Nemesis can literally appear on like almost every part of the game and you can't kill him. And it's fucking terrifying. I was actually yeah. watching the Resident Evil movies today. I watched the first two today. So it's really funny we were talking about They this. are the best kind of awful, aren't yeah. they? So it started I Lance like those movies too. I found uh, uh, a Doom Annihilation on Netflix, and I started watching it because I thought it was like wasn't there a Doom movie with The Rock? But I guess this is a different yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but Doom. so I got a little bit into that, and I was like, "This is this is kind of like bad good sci fi action." But you know what's the best bad good sci fi action? Yeah, Resident Evil. So it just like started, and like the first one I had to watch on Amazon, but it looks like the rest are on Netflix. So if cool. you have Netflix, go nuts. If you Fin- have Netflix, you should probably also be watching Tiger King. Finish watching Tiger King. I finished watch- Happy well. Season Two. What? I'm watching Happy Season Two right now. Oh, I thought you were saying there was a Tiger King Season Two. <laughs> oh, there should no, be but- like a uh, whole they're- Doc Antle season. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, I think I think the the group that are that made Tiger King are doing another one. Not maybe not about. I saw something that was like a those people doing another thing, but I don't remember what it was anymore. Eric Good is the name. Matt, you want to fix the scenes again? Just put put uh, your other scene back up. What happened? Yeah, well, he, I he, just he switched it to solo for your screen share. Yeah, and oh. it, when when it's in studio mode, sometimes I forget to hit the actual like fade over button. Yeah. So you're you're learning. I'm well, learning. I'm practicing. Don't you feel I'm like the now's... big adult baby streamer? And one day I hope now, to grow up. What? I was about to say, Matt. Now, doesn't it seem like it's the time for you to become a like Twitch streamer? Uh, you have yes. Else to... But it, also, it seems like the time where literally everyone else is trying to do that too. Like, yeah, but you're better than everyone else. Even, even like your your everyday person, and then up to like l- legit rock stars and stuff are like, well, fuck, I guess I'll learn how to stream. Yeah, yeah that's true. I mean, I don't care about being a Twitch streamer. I just like hanging out with my internet buddies when I'm yeah streaming. 
Yeah. And like, you know, we got like five viewers in here right now. Most of them are probably bots and some are me, but like, yeah. uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I started streaming a lot of stuff just cause like, if I'm going to be playing games or something anyway, we'll might as well stream it and just see who shows up. Yeah. No, past two weeks, I've been almost exclusively playing the Final Fantasy X HD remaster. Um, I started playing it on the Switch, and then my stepfather, who's also here, and he's been off because my mom was in the hospital for a week. Um, I guess I'm just rolling over that, but that's fine. Um, uh, Huey was playing it on PS4, and I brought a TV up there, so we had two TVs, and we both were playing it. Um, I now have 107 hours in, into it in two weeks, which is probably... Um, too much, <laughs> too much time. Yeah, Matt. Yes. Put put me on the big screen again. I'm gonna screen share. God damn it! What What's this time? I feel like you might have lost your privileges. All right, yeah. ready, guys. Choose your fighter. This is back to the Rona. Choose your fighter. Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> I like to call this one the TJ. <laughs> the, uh, yep. Plastic bag helmet and plastic bag on the hands. Getting a ton of water. Oh, yeah, I saw this one. Okay, we got, we got more. We got two more, three more. I mean, the yep. water, like, the water infrastructure is not going to go down. Like, yeah. at least not anytime soon. So I don't know why I people really... are hoarding water. Oh, I like the inventiveness of this one. This, this, this lady yep. has put a... Uh, <laughs> A, bir- a, a conical birthday hat over her mouth. Yeah, I, I do like birthday hat lady. The it's video I'm getting like from you mask. looks pretty crunchy, so it's hard to see what's going on. It's not oh, even mask. a video. It's a still it, image. Yeah. It, it's still in four on the uh, stream. I so. got it, TJ. Thank you. Oh, well, we didn't get to see the first one then. All right, go back to the first did. one. Edit that part out, and we'll go back to the first <laughs> one. Oh, this is going to play so well in the audio version. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This whole thing will be edited this, out of the audio version. We got this guy. I, I love this guy, but I this guy is, is that covered just... in garbage bags. It looks like <laughs> in other bags, and then has a paper bag with little eye holes and a mouth slot He's open. Wearing those kitchen cleaning rubber gloves. This is not going to protect you from the coronavirus, guy. You're going to get. You know what protects you? Washing your hands when you get home. Yeah, that's it. And drinking this. that aquarium shit. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. Aquarium cleaning. Uh, the, the stream material. can't see me, so it doesn't matter. We'll wait. So this is in some sort of foreign country, though, because I'm seeing some Germany-looking language. Yeah, that's there. some sort of non-America. Some Nazi. Okay. Fuck those guys. Non- <laughs> uh, and then this guy right here I love. Is that a big bottle? <laughs> it is a giant water bottle that's been cut <laughs> out. That he's made a helmet out of. You can see he's buying more. It's grocery cart to get to make more. Of yeah, <laughs> we gotta take care of your friends, and family, and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. I'm waiting get, for somebody giant, to giant like meter. try and do like a big like hose big going back to their like try oh, and walk out and only breathe all the way back like, to their car. Yeah, like an old scuba <laughs> suit. I'd like that. Oh man, I want to see somebody walking around in a vintage scuba suit too, just the big uh, brass technically, helmet. Technically, the kind with the, with the uh, um, umbilical cords are not scuba. Oh yeah, because they're not self-contained; they're just diving yep. suits. They're just scuba. Yep. I only go shopping <laughs> in my diving bell now. Yes, but uh, underwater breathing apparatus. So. Um... That's uh that's rough. Spanky, how are you liking the new Animal Crossing update, huh? Um, the, it's the Bunny Day stuff. The Bunny Day stuff that goes to April okay, twelfth. Uh, so I'll, I on on Mastodon there, because everyone's playing this game. So of course, yeah. people on Mastodon are playing this game. There's a lot of people who are like, I really hate this, and I kind of like it. I I don't know. It's not. It, it, I like I like all the like pattern stuff you get from the eggs. Um, I feel like you pro- probably get too many eggs, but other than I that, say, I don't. I think it's okay. I think as an avid fisherman in the game, it is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> oh, see the thing, I don't fish that much. I fish. Yeah. I mean, 
Uh, I fish pretty much whenever um, I'm out of chores. And yeah. actually, I am fishing is not something that I avoid, but it is the last thing I do when I'm out of yeah. uh, like two times nook miles when I'm out yeah, of chores yeah. and I still want to play the game and I'm not finished and want to go to sleep or or stop playing. That's when I do my fishing. Yeah. So, so just to explain, there's a bunny day event right now. And then the, this, this creepy egg or like uh what is it? A rabbit suit wearing villager type person whose name uh, is zipper. It, right? Yeah. I thought, I thought it was just a rabbit. No, he's got a zipper on his suit. Like he's a zip. He's a, he's anyway, Zipper has hidden eggs all over your island, and they're like hidden in like the on the ground. You can dig them up, or that, or you can fish them up. And so there's just like things that look identical to the fish outlines that are actually eggs, and it's a fucking nightmare. Because every time I'm like, oh, it's a new month, lots of new fish to catch, because there's a new season. And nope, it's all fucking eggs. I have like 50 eggs, <laughs> and I'm so mad because I want to fill up my museum. So I've decided to stop fishing basically until the 12th and then I can get back to it. So I'm very tired of it and it's, it's an, it's annoying. It's not that bad. I, I do. I, I like the seasonal events. It's fun. You know, I like, I, so I've gotten a few of the, um, I'll tell you what they are. They make good gifts to give cause they're uh-huh. really like, they're really easy to find all uh, enough things to like build the whatever, uh, it's because it's usually like two eggs two of every kind and you'll build pretty much any piece of uh, furniture or whatever. And your villagers like it when you give them furniture. They're usually like, whoa, that's awesome. Um, so I've been giving villagers uh, bunny day shit. Um, and that's cool. I like that. Um, I built like a bunny day fence around like a little area that I have built where people can i mean it's obviously no one ever goes there because that's not how the game works but it's like a little outdoor gathering area with lawn Mm -hmm. chairs and stuff and i built a little bunny day fence around it um so that worked pretty well i thought it was neat but um uh, i i talked to you about this and and you're kind of the same way but i am not a time traveler in animal crossing at all if if there are other games that I could play if I want to spend nine hours consecutively playing the video game. Uh, Animal Crossing is I wake, I usually wake up, make coffee, feed my cat while I'm drinking coffee. I'll do my like Nook Miles stuff, and then at some point later in the day, I'll spend another like hour on it, um, just doing like digging up fossils and stuff, and that's about it. Um, and I've been I've been still really enjoying the game. Hmm. Yeah, I, I have. I've been too. I'm really looking forward to um, getting get, getting the all the egg stuff created and getting that done and and, move, and moving forward. I'm I've been playing it every day. I'm loving it. But I just got the uh, I just got the uh, Able Sister shop now, so I can get custom designs. Looking forward to it. I, um, I, the last thing that I did, I upgraded my house to the bigger house. Um, so I got the like 200,000 bell loan from Nook to get the slightly bigger house. Um, and I've got two new, um, villagers. I have Al the monkey who is lazy Mm. and, um, Meringue the rhinoceros who has like a strawberry painted on her horn and she's really cute Hmm. Um, i guess her personality is just normal one thing i'm i'm interested to see is i've got uh mac as a villager and mac is an uh jock and he's Hmm. very much like every time you talk to him he's just like whoa i'm gonna do some curls i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go running around do 50 laps around the island I'm, i'm curious to see the interaction between the lazy owl and the jock mac hmm. and see if they get along or not yeah it it is a really cool game though so far i mean it is there's so much customization available in it like even more so than previous animal crossings and just i don't know it's really fun i like the the the, the way that you can uh do your rooms now there's like a like a room design view so you can like click drag and drop everything around rather than the old busted animal crossing way of dropping shit down and manually pushing it around on the floor Mm -hmm. i don't know it's a really fun game though because it's like literally you can just play 
a little bit every day, you know, and that's why I don't time travel because I just enjoy each new day finding new stuff. The shop will have new items, the, you know, all that stuff. I don't know. I'm a big fan. And uh, it's been a real good gaming comfort food this uh, mm-hmm. last month. So, yeah, I got, I, and I also upgraded my house to be two rooms now, living room, bedroom, which is nice. I can't, I haven't <laughs> talked found a garden gnome, so I made myself a garden specifically so that I could put the garden gnome in the garden. <laughs> I haven't done any fencing stuff yet. I haven't I haven't put any up. I've just kind of scattered items throughout my uh, city, so who knows. Uh, also, back to the Tiger King news. Uh, the, the Tiger King guy has... Uh, 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 was it Joe Exotic? Has coronavirus... <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I was waiting for that. That like that was yeah. to be <laughs> going to be the most 2020 uh, headline ever. Like, yeah, yeah. Joe Exotic sim- gets simulation is moving too fast, guys. Ken, okay, but <laughs> but for real, you think he's faking it? Uh, no, because I think it would be hard for him to fake it. Um, Ooh, he is in prison. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that he like he was in. He was in solitary confinement specifically because he was quarantined. And they, they like, I, prisons suck and should be abolished, but I don't think that he would put someone in solitary for coronavirus and it not actually be the reason you put him there. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't realize that he was solitary, in solitary for that. That's what his husband said, so I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, the world's fucked. <laughs> Yeah, it does sound like the. Uh, it's going to be interesting seeing what the end up the, the ending up of the, like case fatality rate of COVID nineteen is, like they're talking about. If you wait long enough. If you wait long enough, every single person who gets coronavirus will be dead. Yeah, that's true. You know, go a hundred yeah. years from now. So hundred percent kill rate. No, it sounds like it's probably close to 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 point three to one percent fatality rate because there's so many people that are, especially in the U.S., getting sick and not getting tested and not going to a hospital, so they're not getting counted <laughs> as a positive, you know, because we just don't have the number of tests. So, mm-hmm. TJ, is that a small switch you have there? Yeah, I've showed this on the podcast a, a in the past. Mini, a switch light, yeah. Schleit. 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 Yes. Nice. Um, you should play... Well, actually, you shouldn't play Animal Crossing, TJ. I don't have it. I know. You'd have to buy it. But I guess you're going to start your new job, so you'll have money to buy Animal well, Crossing. Well, I think so. I, I haven't heard back yet. I'm waiting on the <laughs> results of the background test. So I'm just playing Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy X. Yep. The worst oh. Final Fantasy. So yep. that being said... Um, it's not. 13. There are really... two really, really I annoying like side... There are two really, really annoying side quests in this game to get your weapon the everyone's best weapon powered up. Yeah. One of which is a Chocobo race where you... Chocobo is basically a big ostrich that's yellow. Yeah. Like a like a big bird was an ostrich. Yeah. Um and you race this trainer in a whole it's got the worst mechanics. You There's a racist to... trainer? Yeah. Yes, yep. you have the racist trainer. Okay, so it's Tiger um, King. <laughs> you get uh, you get uh, three seconds taken off your time for every balloon you catch, and three seconds added to your time for every bird that hits you. And okay. you have to get a time of zero, or sorry, less than zero, to win a particular item. Ah. I did that for my game and for my stepdad's game. That was freaking annoying because it took me yeah. two hours the one night, and another forty minutes the other day that's always the interesting thing with the final fantasy games is that you can min max those items and things yeah and you don't need them to finish the story no not at all which is a nice thing because I then i be- i don't bother i probably could have beat the game 40 hours ago yeah um and then the other thing i did twice was to power up someone else's thing there is um, a place in the game that just um like every f- five to 15 seconds shoots a bolt of lightning down that you can dodge yeah and you get a special prize for dodging 200 lightning bolts in a row. And your reaction time has got to be pretty precise. Yeah. Um, so I did the 200 lightning bolt thing twice. Once for me and once for my stepdad. 
Oh, that was uh, about 45 minutes for me and about 30 minutes for him. Um, I told myself I would never do it again. And because uh, the Switch version doesn't have achievements or trophies, yeah. if I were to borrow his disc of the PS4 version, I'll probably do it again. <laughs> So I remember Final Fantasy X um, came out when I was, I don't know, like eight or nine. It was when I went to college, around 2001, 2002. I was, so I was a preteen and not great at, um, uh, turn, uh, at games where you had to pay attention, that kind of shit. And yep. I remember I was super underleveled because like once I got bored of fighting a certain enemy, I would just move on to the next zone and in Final Fantasy at least of the era, those Final Fantasy games, that's how you get under level and you get just you walk into a new zone and get your ass handed to you. Yep. Um but being stupid and a preteen, I continued to do that. I got to the point where um you fight Seymour Flux on oh, um You can be decently leveled for that and still just die. Well here's the thing. The way that I got through all the like more difficult parts being under leveled was with Summons. the yeah with the Aeon. Yeah. Uh, and Seymour Flux, the moment they come out, you can do one spell and he just like snaps his fingers and they're gone. Banish, like, yep. it, ba- it banishes your Aeon. So I was like, what the hell do I do? Here's what I did to get past Seymour Flux. I went to Kilika. Okay. I bought Tetra armor. Oh, God, I know where you're going with this. And then, and then you can with Tetra armor, you can get the plus thirty percent HP. HP. Yep. Um, so you buy the Tetra armor; it's like three thousand gil. You yep. sell, but when you when you add like a thirty percent to it, it you can sell it for thirty thousand gil. So it's literally a a like you you buy for three, you get for thirty. It's like ten times your money back if you do that. So I spent like. Oh man, I spent a bunch of time getting like max gill. And then I just put Riku in my party and did throw gill. <laughs> and I just, I just threw a max gill at him and it one shots him. That worked. Yeah. Spare yeah. change, I think, is what they call it in this game. Spare um, change, that's right. But, uh, um, but yeah, uh, I, I've been doing the Tetra armor thing in a, for a similar reason because I'm, I'm late game. I basically could just end it. I'm inside Sin right now, but I'm mm-hmm. capturing 10 of every monster as we speak. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, one of the things that they say for easy, quick gill, um, gill is the money in the game. Um, they used to call it GP way back in the day. Yeah, um, gold points. But you, uh, gold pieces. Gold pieces, yeah. I call them gold points. I, actually, speaking of that, w- when I saw that in Bravely Default, they were it was PG in my head. I'm like, oh, that means pieces of gold. No, because they voice act that game. It's pronounced pig. I'm like, what the fuck? What? What the fuck? Anyway, um, end game. You buy those same Tetra armor that you're talking about. Um, you go to the monster arena and fight this guy that counters you every time. Uh, he drops forty healing springs, and then you customize SOS regen in those armors, and you just repeat, 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 repeat. Um, for every two battles, you're able to customize six or seven armors, and then you make about 3.5 million gil an hour. Mm. Um, so I've been doing a lot of that. <laughs> um, but when you talk about being underleveled, that reminds me of when I first played Final Fantasy VII as a kid. I had mm. the PC version, and my PC was garbage, so everything played super slow, like about 50% speed, and that game's already too slow to begin with. And I got to the final dungeon of the game where you're going to fight your final boss, big guy, a uh, silver hair, beautiful man with big sword. Um, and I was level like 32 going into that dungeon, and you really want to be about 50 or higher in order to beat the game. Um, so I just stopped. I never beat Final Fantasy VII. The end is bad, <laughs> it turns no, out. No. It's not actually... So I, I I like... Here's one thing about Final Fantasy. The endings are almost all really shitty. They're almost all terrible. Yes. Final Fantasy X's ending is the cheesiest bullshit ending. Um, Nine actually has an okay ending. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you would probably think that Eight has an okay ending because it's one of the only parts of the game where the story I, makes any sense. Well, I beat the game. I beat Eight. Um, and the best part of the ending... Um, is, is the game uh, is no longer going on. 
There's you don't have to play the game anymore. Well, that's half of it. The other half is uh is Zell choking on a hot dog. Yep. Um, that's part about it. <laughs> seven has a bad ending. Um, twelve has an actually. I never beat twelve, so tens I don't know is the... pretty good. No, no, I'm not talking about how does like the whole story culminate. I'm talking what's the final cut scene like because it is literally Yuna going like together we will we will beat whatever i don't know what i'm talking because like we beat sin and none of the political strife that happened throughout the game is going to get brought up because we did it it's really it's corny and it's the a main real, character yeah. is like i'm a dream bye love I. um final fantasy 15's ending is bad now it's it's basically like I have to die now because for the past couple of hours the pace of this game has been a completely different game and apparently I have to die after being in prison for 10 years because that's a thing that happens and now I'm gonna die and then my already dead fiance wife lady who I never got a chance to bone is gonna just magically appear on my throne and then the logo of the game will change on the main menu and that's how the game ends that's stupid but there's also dlc which makes it more stupid it is so um however i know john said that he thinks 13 is bad and it's not great but i like it and it has a good ending like of Mm -hmm. final fan as 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 endings to final fantasy games go um 13 has a pretty solid ending um the the story never made sense like most final fantasies so it doesn't matter um but like it ends it's, it has a good ending there's there's fang and vanille and there are these weird characters who can do magic and are foul c or let's see let's see and, yeah. well it's kind of iffy on yeah. what they are because okay. they kind of crystal mode and into foul c sort of things at the end um but yeah, they die, and then like they're like, you can go down and live on the world now. It's we we beat the bad guys. It turns out there weren't bad guys really down here, and now they're dead. Mm. And they're really weird know. giant face things. Um, but we killed them. If if I want to fight a giant face thing, I would get good at Star Fox. Yes. Um, I, I'm not good at Star Fox. Do you know what's Final crazy? Fantasy. What's crazy? If you wanted to buy a Nintendo Switch, you would be impossible right now. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I've looked. I've looked online. I cannot find a store that is selling one. Switch lights, maybe. Not even Switch but, lights. That's so what I'm, I'm pretty, looking for. I'm pretty sure I can go get a Switch light from um, a local store that sells yes. like used used stuff. But the thing is, is they're closed right now for the I coronavirus. Know. The thing oh. is, they had stock. They had a few, and I was actually going to get one because they were selling a used. Um, turquoise switch light for like 150 dollars and i was like hell yeah that's worth 150 bucks um but i didn't buy it because i'm stupid and didn't realize stop licking the switch light tj please um (laughs) i didn't buy it because i i I had no foresight so now i have to take my switch into my living room to charge it and play it on the big tv so I really just haven't been playing it on the. Ba- I've played it almost entirely in small mode. But the thing is, my hands are fat and really, really short. So playing playing the the big switch is less comfortable than playing small. Stub, stubby finger club. Yep. I get you. Yeah. So actually, I have. Um, I've been using the pro controller, which which is I think what John's going to show. I'm not going to show. I have to get a drink anyway because I'm. Yeah. Mine's not close. Croy. And I want to grab my switch and show you how I play it handheld, and it's it's with my giant hands club. It, it's the best way. But I'll be oh, right I, I I have an idea of what he's nice probably doing because he does it. He plays a little bit while he's working. So he, I'm my guess is he actually does the uh, he does the tabletop mode with the kickstand, and then he just plays with mm-hmm. the do, 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 do. with the loose joysticks. Yeah, I bet he has like chopsticks taped to his fingers that he uses. That's my guess. <laughs> That's what I would do. D monolith. Did I count this? Oh, fuck. This is what sucks when I'm trying to keep a uh, spreadsheet at the same time as doing this. I what didn't build this. Spread- I know I build for? spreadsheets all the time. I didn't build it. I found it. Um, it's a spreadsheet that keeps track of how many of each monster I've captured. Oh, okay. So you can, you can get those stats. 
Statman. Statman exactly. colors. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to it's... unlock super monsters in the monster arena, and you need to capture everything to do that. Yep. Oh, um, really? And there's not just yeah. like in a in-game like uh, achievement that keeps track of that in real time. You have to like keep it on a spreadsheet. Kind of. I'd have to I'd have to go somewhere else if I want to know exactly where I'm at. Yeah. Um, yeah otherwise, it's I'd, not in the pause menu. Otherwise, I'd have to cap like attempt to capture one extra, and it will say a capture limit reached. Okay. Um, it doesn't tell me when I hit it. It tells me after I've hit it. And some of the monsters are more rare, so it's annoying. John's um, really taking a long time getting that drink, huh? I, I'm pretty sure his wife is yelling at him for making a J date profile, <laughs> <laughs> and then immediately saying he hates his wife. My wife, My John's wife. wife. <laughs> so, uh, hey, do you guys so remember Borat? No, funny <laughs> shit I've ever seen. You ever seen? You ever seen Borat? <laughs> Woo. Dude, hey, like Spanky, Spanky, Spanky imagine this. Shoulders. Pickle Rick in the Borat swimsuit. Think about Funny it. Funny shit I've ever seen. <laughs> so here's the switch, the the big switch. Yep. Big boy switch. You know. Yeah. Joy Cons classic. It's it's, it's it, you know you hold it. It's not the most comfortable thing to hold as, yeah. as a person with large hands. So I bought this from Satisfy. It is oh, a. Yeah, those, those are great. It is a slide in thing that gives gives me like controller hand grips yeah okay so so it's just so much better it's just the grips it's not like adding any like nope it just slides extensions or anything okay no without well it does actually have these which i haven't used uh joystick extensions as well to make them stick up a little higher Mm -hmm. which actually i feel like i want to install now because i feel like i don't like how low profile the joysticks are yeah and they're just little rubber pads that stick over it. So, yeah, it's really cool. Like, it, it makes it way easier to use. Um, but I'm really terrified of it breaking. Because I, I want to do a replacement that. now. I want to do that mod where you make the, your Joy-Cons into GameCube controllers. Oh, yeah. I, so I, I, you I, slot in the left and right mm-hmm. side of a game, and it's like a GameCube controller on the left and right. Yeah. The only problem with that is the GameCube controller is fucking shitty. The button layout is so bad. I, I like the I like the I like the the GameCube button layout. Yeah. N sixty four best button layout ever. Yeah, because you, we really needed two D pads. <laughs> I need <laughs> I need three prongs to hold down. Yeah, that's the worst one. But. Um, it did did have the analog stick. You know, really the Power nice. 64 version, that third-party Power 64 controller that only has the two prongs with the joystick and the D-pad on the one side, both the Z and your L button there, that is probably the best version of the N64 controller. Um, the only problem with it is the fact that the um, the analog stick up isn't what you think up is. I think it's a little bit tilted on the controller intentionally. Um, mm. because, uh, the left joystick is actually still done almost like two prongs put together. So like you have your hand up here if you're using the D pad, but your hand is comfortably a little bit lower if you're using the joystick. Mm-hmm. Huh. So PC game pads in like, I mean now technically too, but it, historically, um, they use the X, Y grid. Mm-hmm. So, um, they're not actually circles. They're, uh, squares. Um, they've been like that since the 80s, basically, because it's just poten- two potentiometers can make uh, yeah, a D-pad yeah. and, or, or a joystick in that way, an analog joystick in that way. And you can go so, 100% in all directions then. That, yeah, that so in like the 90s right. and early 2000s, uh, whenever DualShock controllers were on the PlayStation, Logitech was like, hey, we're going to make a PC controller that looks like a DualShock controller, but we're going to keep it like with the square thing so it had two joysticks but instead of being circles that you could like rotate in a circle they were squares so they would lock into the top left like all the corners of the square so if you pushed straight up it wouldn't lock straight up but if you push like up and to the left it would go into the corner and lock in that direction 
and that was very difficult to play a lot of games at the time on uh, because they were like ports, especially like emulator games. Very, I, I remember having one of those and was like, I would, I would rather have a piece of garbage controller than like the name brand Logitech one for this reason. Well, if you guys want a Nintendo Switch, you can go on Amazon.com. Yeah, I was yeah, just looking at that. So first I looked at Target, and the Target website is out of stock. Like, you can't even order so it for delivery. Nintendo Switch on Amazon, there's the, the beautiful seller Worldwide Distributors, has it for Prime for only $519. It's only $220 more expensive than retail. So uh, it looks like, This oh, is like a first three-month prices. Again. Yeah, it's price, It's just absolute price. So that price, it better come with a bottle of hand sanitizer. Um, but if you go to PlayAsia.com, it looks like you can order U.S. consoles there for twenty or thirty dollars more than uh, sticker price, and they do you say get killed have, on shipping though? No, I I don't I think, think so. Twenty bucks at most, right? What? I think twenty bucks at most. I mean, Actually, as a, guys, as of as of this moment, uh looks like 34 minutes ago someone put a listing on ebay for uh turquoise 32 gigabyte nintendo switch Lite for 200 dollars. that's exactly what they normally cost yeah yeah but like this was posted 34 minutes ago i bet before the pop we're done recording the podcast it will have sold oh is that is that the buy price or is that just the starting bid no that is the buy price it says that or best it's or best offer buy it now used Okay, let me just go to eBay and put in my offer of five dollars. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the thing I hate most about um about uh the world today is Spank and I were talking about this yesterday off the podcast, but like the way Amazon and Walmart are with third party sellers and sh- and just because like right now on Walmart dot com. I'm like, hey, I want to buy a Switch uh, Yellow Light, Switch Light Yellow. It's two hundred eighty nine ninety nine, um, and I can add to cart, and it says free delivery arrives there. I'm like, oh, cool. And then in the tiny little text here, it says sold and shipped by Nationwide Distributor, which has got a four point one out of five stars, one hundred and sixty eight reviews, uh, and it's just this fucking like, lo- it's just a reseller. Like yep. that's everybody. Yeah, the it's, Walmart it's, website is a shit show. Like, it is. I, if I'm on there, I'm trying to figure out like if my local store has stock of something before yeah. I go, and you, you just can't. You can't figure yeah. it out because there's so, so many third party so sellers. I, I'll, I'll recommend if it's if you're doing that, go to BrickSeek.com because yeah. they um they just use the Walmart eight like programming API. Yeah. Okay. Um, to to get that, so Walmart's website does have it, but their website is a piece of shit. Um, yep. Rickseek just uses the API that Walmart exposes to their website to get that information, and you don't have to deal with their shitty website. Mm-hmm. Um, they also do like if there's a grocery store chain that particip- that uses like a point of sale that they can do that with as well. You can find it for some grocery stores, like I think Hy-Vee sometimes will have that oh, cool. okay. too on Rickseek. Yeah. So if you want a Nintendo Switch, they're impossible to buy now because people have been are just price gouging them now. It's I mean it makes sense. We well, got you got all these uh third even party like, sellers who just you know, just like everybody being stuck at home. The other day I was talking to my mom and even she was like, you know, we're stuck here. Uh and I was thinking about how we used to play like Nintendo with you guys. And is there anything I could play those old games on and stuff? And like I my parents imagine. are not gamers. Yeah. They're like they're just <laughs> desperate for something to do. Yeah. I am going to um for Mother's Day get my mom. Um I bought her all the Witcher books because she was super into the uh what Netflix mm-hmm. uh adaptation. So I yeah. bought her I didn't yeah. buy her all the Witcher, but I bought her the the first two, which are collections of short stories. Um I bought her uh The Last Wish and Sort of Destiny. Um which are just a bunch of short stories about Geralt. Um, And I'm getting her, uh, giving her uh, this Nintendo 64, which she bought for me whenever, (laughs) uh, like, basically, I think she got it the night it came out. Uh, It's the same N64 that she got. Um, 
And I'm like, I, I mean, I, I want it back, but like, this is the only game console. Uh, she, uh, I mean, she would also take my Super Nintendo. Um, I'm sure she'd be fine with that too. But we used to play Banjo Kazooie on Nintendo 64. So I was gonna give my mom um, uh, Banjo Kazooie and uh, uh, Super Mario 64 and the N64 for Mother's Day because <laughs> I know that uh, she's gonna, she's like gonna be a shut in by the time that rolls around. If if she wants it, and I'm sure I could probably find it because I think it's down downstairs in my storage stuff here. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think that you guys would, if I shipped it to you, would want to borrow Doctor Mario sixty four? Uh, no, uh, my mom. Like, no. Okay, my mom d- never played Doctor Mario. I would take it, but I mean <laughs> that I I I may already have it. I don't know. Yeah, somewhere in that thing, I also have my copy of Paper Mario, which I know you talk about as the one good game. Um, it's the only game that's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's but, the only uh, game that's good. Paper Mario is heavier than other N sixty four games. Is it? Yes. Grab two N sixty four games, one of which is Paper Mario, and lift All it. Right. I have to go. I have to go and and do some math or whatever. So that would just be like more memory in there. Like there's I guess? more circuitry. Or there's like. I don't know if it's double motherboarded or whatnot, um, but that game was released late in the uh, N64 cycle. I want to say it was one of the last games released It looks like you can still pick up Xbox One and PS4. I do know that in some of those cartridges, they would have like additional RAM to help with processing power. So it might be yeah. something like that, too. I mean, not exactly, but I think something along those lines. So I wouldn't be surprised. It's kind of like the Super Nintendo games that had the uh, the Super FX chip inside. Yeah. Um, which I think that's uh, Stunt Racer FX, Star Fox, um, Star Fox 2, which was never released, and uh, Yoshi's Island, even though it doesn't advertise it on the box, also used the Super FX chip. But it does seem that... Uh... That uh, if you want to get an Xbox One, you can get one. Amazon doesn't seem to be selling them though; they just have third-party sellers. But they're going for oh, Xbox One S is going for I think two. I thought they were supposed to be cheaper than this, but they're two hundred. They're normally three hundred um, for the standard S's. For the all yeah. digital ones, are retail for two fifty. Okay, yeah, and it's it's a. Uh, Two, there's actually a, it seems to be a, a bundle that everyone's buying on Am, or selling on Amazon for two eighty nine. It's the two controller bundle plus okay. three months of Game Pass, which is a pretty fucking good deal for. And Game Pass is fucking awesome. Yeah, I have it on my PC, which is one of the better deals. It's five bucks a month for all these games like Forza Horizon and stuff. Um, so you know, you technically don't have to do your five dollar a month. Because I think your PC is still on my Xbox account, <laughs> and I have Game Pass Ultimate, which I know, it. I know. Which reminds uh, me, we need, to, we need to finish Gears Four. I already deleted it. It was like two hundred gigabytes. <laughs> Fair enough. I, you don't. Have I had to delete space. it. It was taking up way too much space. Uh, so, um, let's uh, let's 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 move on. Spanky, do you have, have digital uh, scale? Is do that you have measurements? No, no, no. I'm taking apart the cartridges. Uh-huh. <laughs> to see to see why it's heavier, I'm curious now. But but you're so right. we're doing. I am right though. It is heavier, right? Yeah, it does seem heavier. Yeah, I'm I'm doing this for science though. I'm seeing what exactly it is that's making this cartridge heavier. Then uh, so I've got and uh, the first one I'm taking apart here is uh, Mario 64. So it's probably going to be a the lightest yeah, launch game. Yeah. So here's what's interesting going on in here. This is Mario 64's insides. It's got a it's got a little uh, RF shield going on here and a bunch of yeah. empty space. Um, the RF shield I didn't grab a Phillips, so I can't really take the uh, I can't really take the uh, RF shield off because it, it I didn't think there were Phillips or RF shields inside here. But it takes about half up. Here is Paper Mario uh, oh, taking yeah. up the full cartridge. Uh, and just from like peeking in there to try and see what the heck's going on, um, it looks like potentially this has um, it has two extra chips inside of it. I can't see what they are without actually taking off, uh, without going and finding flips and, and taking it off. But it has it definitely has two extra chips 
So like the top, there's a chip here and a chip here that this that the 64 doesn't have. So it's definitely heavier because it has more chips inside. Okay. Don't know what they are though. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting that like you could do that sort of thing with cartridges, like with CDs and the, like the SD card cartridges. You can't you can't add additional uh, processing power to the game itself. You're just pretty much stuck with the system. Well, at that yep. point, I mean, you're talking about the fact that it's, uh, um, that the majority of the heavy lifting on a modern system is done from the internal processor. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas when you have like a, a chip based set, uh, you know, in a cartridge, you can supplement what your processor in the box has with processors in the actual cartridge. So, yeah, a yeah, good I, example I, of that would be on the, um, Atari 2600, um, notably anyone who's ever played an old Atari game knows that they sound like shit and the built-in yep. like sound is absolute garbage. Um, but pop in Pitfall 2 and it's got a full, um, uh, it's got a full soundtrack that plays. It yeah. doesn't even sound that bad. Yeah. That's because they were just like, we want this game to play music. Just put a fucking sound car, sound chip onto the cartridge. And that's what they did. Hmm. Guys, can you, can you, can Matt, can you ding me? Oh, Sorry for the Reddit chips. Sorry for the Reddit chip, boys. Uh, my wife. My uh, wife. Sent me this one and said we should do this one on the podcast. So I've read it and I'm, I'm excited. How do I, 33M, tell my girlfriend, 32F, I don't want to be a, quote, Disney couple. Oh, no. I have been. They, I was yes. gonna ask, are are they like wanting? Does he want to make sure they're not gonna like buy other smaller couples and like <laughs> add them to their library? Yeah, and then lock away access to them. Exactly. Yeah. That's where I was going. No, no. Uh, here we go. I have been with my girlfriend for seven years. A year into our relationship, we took what was our first big trip together to Disney World. It was an exciting trip, but. At the time, I didn't know it was the biggest mistake of my life. We've been back every year since. Our upcoming trip in April had to be canceled. While I was frankly relieved, my girlfriend has been devastated and won't stop talking about how we can move our plans to the fall. The thing is, I've come to hate Disney and despise my girlfriend because of her enthusiasm for it. She always gets us stupid matching couples shirts that are incredibly embarrassing to wear. She also buys a set of overpriced mini ears each trip and has posted a photo of her wearing them every year as if it makes her quirky or unique and not like every other basic bitch in Orlando. She also gets a photo of us kissing in front of the castle every year and that she always shares on social media, which is the lamest flex ever. Mm. She thinks that watching the fireworks over the castle is the definition of romance. I don't understand what's so romantic about that when there's uh, some dipshit dad with his unremarkable kid on his shoulders blocking our view. My girlfriend knows I get annoyed by this, but holds my hand throughout anyway like it's some beautiful moment. She's obsessed with the princess dinners, which are for children. Every year we eat at this restaurant with Cinderella, who's always a smoke show. (laughs) And and every year we eat at this restaurant with Cinderella, who's always a smoke show. And she walks over to our table and asks if we're attending the ball. My girlfriend isn't thinks this is all so fun and imaginative, but I don't see Cinderella. All I see is the hot blondes in college who never looked my way, living out a literal dream while I eat shitty steak tips and listen to screaming kids and pretend to somehow be entranced by all of this while throwing away thousands of dollars. The cherry on top is that I barely even get laid on these trips because every night she's so tired from the long day at the parks and we have to be up and at them for the next day. This past year, she's been more excited about riding the Millennium Falcon than riding me. Ugh, that's a terrible line. I love my girlfriend. Do you? No. (laughs) Sounds like you fucking hate her. But I just can't take the Disney bullshit anymore. Going there every year when there's this whole world to see doesn't make us a cute couple. It makes us fucking weirdos. She's alluded to me proposing in front of the castle numerous times and would quite frankly, quite frankly, rather heave myself from the Tower of Terror than do that. I just don't know what to do. I don't even know how to approach it because she's such a fanatic about it that I know she would become extremely upset if I even suggested I don't like Disney as much as her. She thinks it's one of our defining things as a couple. 
and it would break her heart if I told her how much I resent it. I would have to put my foot down about this, but how should I go about it? Edit. Holy shit. I don't hate my girlfriend. I fucking hate Disney. Nah. <laughs> yeah. so um, I don't hate my girlfriend, just all of the things she likes. Yeah. So my advice to this person would be the, um, what, what, that you're what, never going to convince her to not like Disney. So you got to end it. And my my ulterior motive would be to get that poor woman away from this terrible man. Yeah. What was the age again? The ages? 32 and 31, I think. Okay, okay. Here's, what, here's what you do. If he he wants I'm to travel. If I know this woman. She wants to go to Disney. So next year, go to Euro Disneyland. And then the year after like, that, go to Hong Kong Disneyland. I feel like I completely understand this guy in a way. Because it's like, you know... You just imagine, like, I think people kind of pile on this guy, and he deserves some piling on, because the way he's talking about his girlfriend of seven years is a bit like, okay, like, at seven years, you should be used to this by now. But, I mean, it sounds like probably, you know, 11 months out of the year, normal relationship, and just every year she goes crazy when they go to Disney once a year. And, like, you know, it's clear he hates that part. And, And I would get that, too. I really dislike adult Disney people. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. they're like way into it it's like yeah you know i'd like to go to disney world again as an adult because it's fun there's lots of cool rides and it's a cool park but like the people that go every year and like are are crazy i know some people that have moved to disney yeah this, dude, some people it. are just like ext- oh yeah didn't disney don't they have like condos or something you could buy oh yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> they have their own they have celebration village their own their own town celebration florida Oh, All right. Like, um, that we're... This is not the person I know. The guy, I know the guy, who's... the guy that I know moved there also works for Disney Corporate now. So, oh, yeah, well, that makes sense. Goal. He well, he didn't when they moved. But if that <laughs> was like a career out. goal, that makes I don't. That's a little bit more understanding than just I yes, want to go. He like... Wanted to work for Disney, and now he works at Disney Corporate. So yes, it, it definitely worked out for him. And I think that was probably his plan was to you know go down there and freelance tech jobs until he finally got you know, to interview for a Disney job there. And it worked out for him. Something yeah, that you left. can do if you're in this man's situation is suggest going, but maybe spending some time apart. And then she does her Disney stuff and you go to drinking around the world at Epcot. Yeah. It just, it just honestly sounds like that uh, you don't have this one thing in common with your girlfriend. And if you can't handle her want, indulging her for this once a year then maybe you can't be together because it's sim- sympathy is like seriously you've been to disney world seven fucking times if they've been together seven years that's a lot and yeah. it's expensive that's a lot yeah. like that's your whole travel budget for the year you know and it's just like yeah it's like you should probably just she should probably just go work you know there i, I guess uh there's some comments here in twitter just talking about they you know, people that work at Disney World and you just you see a lot of people like this that are adults that are there a lot. And it's like I just it's weird. It's like it's you know, like Michael Jackson like created his own like Disney World in his like, you know, Neverland Ranch. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say there's a line between going to Disney World once a year and creating your own in your backyard. Uh, <laughs> I'd say there's a line, but there's definitely Yeah, uh, the line is money. Connect the dots between those. Yeah, because you would imagine if these people had the money, they would probably do stuff like that. So I never have been to Disney World before, and I've always wanted to go, but I've always been too poor. So I definitely would be an adult that would like to go to Disney still, because yeah. I, I've just never gone and would love to go. Yeah. Um. So that is clouding my judgment on this when I'm just like, you bastard, let her enjoy her Disney. Also, yeah, but, his, yeah, you're, like, his, his you're complaining about, about like, the thing that I can't have. Yeah, yeah, and 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 his uh, line about like she should be riding me. I'm just like, yeah, you're you're a fucking piece of garbage. Uh, so yeah. I have no. So I've lost sympathy for him, and therefore I don't know that I care to see his point. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I, I, I I'll also say like if if you're not willing to like try to talk her out of it, then yeah. if you keep going and if you're miserable. That's your fault. Like it's your yeah, responsibility to find a way to enjoy yourself there. And you if you were, there's a ton of shit there. Like She's you can find something person. that's fun. 
but she's a, she's a she's a human being. Like you could definitely talk her out of this. You could say I can't. Yeah, just don't lead off with I fucking Disney. hate Disney so fucking much. Yeah. And be like, I really want to go to other places. Can we go every other year and do a trip somewhere else every year? You know, like and some. Oh, you know what they should do? They should say um, they should take a trip to Branson instead of of Orlando. And be like, yeah, we'll just like switch back and forth between Branson and Orlando. And Branson is so fucking terrible of a place that they'll never want to go on vacation again. <laughs> all right. I've been to Branson. So, you know, it's all right. <laughs> it's pretty fucking bad. It's it's like Vegas without gambling. It's Vegas mm-hmm. without gambling with a lot more Jesus. And the traffic is somehow worse. Yeah. All right, we got another one. So you talk about a bad boyfriend. Let's talk about a bad girlfriend. Am I the Women, asshole? Right? For, <laughs> am I the am I the asshole for throwing away my thirty three year old boyfriend's Lego toys? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm aware how of how stupid and ridiculous. I love this one. Fucking expensive. I love this one because of of this is so gold that I, I mean, it's probably real because that it doesn't seem like it's crazy enough to be fake, but you'll, you'll see this person's a real piece of work. Uh, yes. I'm aware of how stupid and ridiculous this whole situation is. And I also like to think that they are, they do not see the other person's side at all in this, which I love because it's like, how could you not empathize? I 29 F have been with my boyfriend, Tom for nearly two years. He works with computers he has a normal life, normal social life, and a job until you get to the Lego figures. His house is normal, except for the fact that he has an entire room dedicated to Lego models and fake buildings. Lately, the subject of getting engaged has cropped up, but Tom wasn't keen on the idea. He said it's too soon. We have some trust issues due to a drunken mishap on my part a few months back. <laughs> this so is the past cheated. now, and not why I'm here. It's just for context, so please don't base your answerers off that. Due to I'm a lot, base my answer off that. Yeah, due to don't a use lot this context to inform your opinion. <laughs> yes. I love this. This is this this lady is the triple threat. Due to a lot of my stress right in my life right now, and financial stress due to being uh, unemployed, <laughs> I decided that I should move to Tom's house. It's a three-bed detached house with a nice garden. Tom's job is super well-paying, so it shouldn't be a problem. When I asked him, he got all weird and said that there was no room. He has three bedrooms. So I argued this, and he said he's not ready, and he needs the rooms for his Legos. Yeah, I know, right? He said he needed time to fully trust me and that he wasn't ready to rush things. So I threw out his shit. Just Just cheated on him three years ago, or three months ago. I, I told him I would never notice if he would never notice if half those Legos disappeared into thin air because he has hundreds. It's like a fucking parent. Like, hey, you got so many Hot Wheels. I bet I could take away half of them and you'd never notice. Yeah. They're I just love that she's like, well, he, he doesn't, he feels like it's too soon to propose. So uh, I'll make him trust me and like me more by throwing his shit away. I, uh, he said, I'm exaggerating, and he claims he knows every single piece he's ever bought, so I'll admit I was ready, already feeling pretty hurt that he didn't want me moving in and didn't trust me, so I decided to put his claims to the test and see if he was just making excuses. He wasn't trusting me, so now I'm going to do something that he didn't him. want me to do. <laughs> I grabbed a trash bag while he showered and filled it with Legos from different rooms. I took them home and dumped them into the trash. The next morning, I got a call from Tom accusing me of stealing his Lego. I denied it at first because I panicked. But it turns out Tom's security camera (laughs) caught me taking the bag to the car. I thought he would understand that I was hurt. uh, But he is threatening to sue me for the losses that he claims amount to $6,000. There's no way in hell that any of the things I took are worth that. And I definitely can't pay that kind of money. It's fucking building blocks, for Christ's sakes. Tom said he can prove it and will be filing for the losses and has asked for his key back. So the relationship's over. Am I the well, asshole for this? I didn't think he would notice, and I thought he'd realize that he really didn't need them and that maybe exposed Lego as a cover-up for not wanting to progress a relationship. Now the relationship is over because some dumb toys. Am I the asshole? So a, a, a few months ago, we did an am I the asshole that was like, uh, am I the asshole because I I didn't take care of my sister's cat when I agreed to and she asked me to because I think she spends too much time with the cat. Like basically it was one of those things where this thing is very important to this person 
And I said that I would not do anything bad. And then I did exactly what I said I wouldn't do. And now they're pissed off at me. It's like, I, I, I don't know if we could have a more cut and dry example of, yeah, you're the fucking asshole. Oh, we got more here. <laughs> oh. We got more here, guys. For, Please continue. Yeah, I want to hear like what, what the, the comments were and stuff. I just got some more comments here I want you to see. It's not my fault I'm unemployed. People are talking about this. I worked for a company called LuLaRoe, and it didn't work out as expected. <laughs> you got fired. No, no, no. <laughs> no, so the person clarifies, you mean you bought product from a company called LuLaRoe? Yes. Oh, uh, is that no, an, no, no, I started a small business selling leggings. <laughs> it didn't work out. Uh, and then the person says, it was not a small business. It was though. Mi- mi- uh, what is it? Was it called MLM? What is yeah. that? Yep. For? Multi-level, Multi-level marketing. marketing. Multi-level marketing is not a small business. You, did yeah. you did you pay business taxes, et cetera? Question mark. I went twenty two k into debt with Lularoe. That's why I'm in debt. So no taxes. I was a huge loss. It's yeah. It's that's not, not a business. Of pyramid scheme. It's a reverse funnel. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Ponzi scheme. Uh, let's see if there's any other answers. Buy him a stuff deck. I can't. I'm in debt. Dude, we should start an MLM. This looks fucking lucrative. <laughs> like, like, be at the top of a pyramid. Just start a new pyramid. Well, well, we it could be about podcasting. LLC. Here we go. Uh, I denied it at first, and he dropped it for a couple of days, and then contacted me to tell me that he has me on CCTV. Really, it took him a couple days to check his CCTV? Sure. I panicked and hit his phone. It's a long story, okay? Didn't mean for it to happen. This other person says, did Tom ever give you money to support your business? No, he didn't agree with the business model. Because it wasn't a business. Because it's a fucking MLM. Of course this is an MLM person. Oh, my God, anyway. Well, I mean, I, I, you you know, listen, if any woman who is saying these exact things, she is the, she's the prime target for ML uh, people. She, that's like, that's like, that's like the, the shooting fish in the barrel, like population is, is those people. It's, it's yeah. like uh, someone, someone was like, yeah. So if you were a girl and you went to our high school, your two career choices are nurse or Ponzi scheme. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just, yeah. I don't, I don't really, I guess it's like the, the allure is I want to be in charge, yeah. but I don't want to go through all of the, the difficulty of actually creating a business. So it's offering yeah. like a shortcut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. It's the same kind of scams that have been going on forever, you know, with these businesses, uh, I'm trying to think there's like a Nutrisystem, I think there's all sorts of stuff like Pampered Chef does one of them, but they're, I, they're not really. You know, like this is more like the Tupperware party model, you know, yeah. where you just buy a bunch of stuff because you like it. And then you take it to people's friend's house and you do. I don't know. My my parents bought Pampered Chef shit, but they weren't selling it. They had friends that would do that. And I mean, I don't know. It's just it's just a weird thing. But like some of these are really predatory. Like LuLaRoe is a big one. This seems yeah. Like really predatory. If you're going like 2K, you, th- you shouldn't. Like the startup cost shouldn't be putting you two k. I thought it was twenty k. I twenty two k. Oh wow, yeah, that's. I watched. I watched a episode of King of the Hill because that's one of the things I've been watching. From I think this one what showed in two thousand, maybe nineteen ninety nine, um, where Peggy spies into a pyramid scheme. Um, I, I can't remember what she was selling. Um, but it was basically there was this scene where they were having like the um, the whole company uh, goes to this big ball, this big gala that they go to, and um, Peggy has Bill as as who is selling them on on the army base, and he goes to Peggy. He's like, I can sell five thousand. Peggy runs to the pe- person she buys this shit from, and she's like, I can do five thousand. And then she he, he's, she's like, Great, that sounds great. Go go do it. And then as soon as Peggy leaves. Uh, Peggy's manager runs to another person. It's like I can do five thousand, and it basically yeah. just runs all the way around the, the the gala until it gets back to the dude that's actually making. Yeah, there's scams, and uh, yeah, this person's terrible. And also, she cheated on her boyfriend and threw his Legos away. No, it was just a drunken misunderstanding, John. God, don't be so yeah. dramatic. Yeah, 
I mean, right, like, guys. when I get really drunk, then, like, his best friend Todd looks exactly like him, and his dick's about the same size, so I didn't notice it when it was going inside of me. Here we go, boys. One more final one. Ding. Boyfriend keeps trying to upgrade or improve me by calling me chubby. That's not upgrading or improving. That's just being <laughs> abusive. I've, F32 or 23, have been dating my boyfriend, M27, for a year. I am 5'4 and 125 pounds, which is definitely on the lighter end of the spectrum. Yeah. yeah. That is pretty average. Man. Um, slowly, he keeps making more and more negative comments about my appearance. He made me a workout and eating plan and constantly asked me if I follow it. He basically wants me to go vegan. On Oh, boy. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not into the vegan lifestyle, and I don't eat horrible. When we order in... Yesterday I got baked ziti, and he looked at me and said, "How could I be ordering this when I both when we both agreed I need to lose weight?" Every time I try and dump him over this, he tells me I don't understand where he is coming from. He told me I'm average, and he wants me to stand out. So is, this guy's like a walking like uh, uh, like anorexia creation device. <laughs> like, yeah, you yes, look exactly. normal. I feel like he read that. some pickup artist books and then got stuck on the nagging chapter. Yeah. yeah, that he noticed I have low self-esteem and he is trying to make me confident and be happy with myself. Every day he asks me if I did my workouts. He will send me other photos of other girls and say that if I follow what he says, I will look like that. He really pursued me and now I feel like he's killing my self-esteem. Why pursue someone so hard if you aren't attracted to them? He told me if I lose 15 pounds, I'd be perfect. <laughs> What? 110 pounds i just i think he was i think he was doing the, the like business strategy of like uh buy the car that is everything you want but it's got a like it's got a bad paint job and then you like do the paint job yourself except for he's trying to do that with a human person yeah you gotta up the resale value on this human person yeah <laughs> that's so fucked because it's like he hey, sends me pictures it's, hey, you only exist as a reflection on me. Like, you're my status symbol. So I need you to improve. Yeah. He sends me pictures of women who have post-pregnancy bodies or not good bodies at all. And he tells me that they are like me and that they are chubby and not curvy. Or he will send me pictures of girls I don't consider pretty and say, if I listen to him, I will look like that. I just need to lose weight. I tell him that I think I'm thinner than those girls, and he tells me that he has the better eyes. Honestly, at this point, I don't want to break up because I feel like no one will find me attractive. I feel like I want his approval. I've been wearing baggy clothes because I'm ashamed of my body. I used to like my body, but now I'm ashamed. Why is he dating me if I'm so unattractive? How do I gain my self-esteem back? Why pursue me? Question mark. This is just like 100% straight up gaslighting. Yeah. Yeah. Like yep. it, this is the definition of just sending her photos and doing all this thing and saying, no, no, I'm doing it because I want you to be better. Oh, you know, I'm not you know, express. Yeah. It is 100% terrible. I, I do like that. Like 90% of the posts of women on, on, on the subreddit are like, my boyfriend makes me feel terrible. And also he murdered my cat. But what? I don't want Should to break I give up him the benefit of the doubt. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, these people are terrible. Um, well, I mean, I it, what it is, it's like so society at large is like, oh, when a boy likes you, he's gonna punch you, he's gonna be evil to you. Boys will be boys. So then, like, because we've got so much of that garbage in society for so long, girls are like, is this just what everyone was telling me about, or is 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 this not normal? Well, well, we do have an edit from this one. This is why I wanted to end with this one. Edit, I would like to thank everyone for the overwhelming response. I can't be get back to everyone, but I appreciate each and every message. Honestly, I didn't realize my situation was that bad. Going to assume he had me under control. This was really reassuring. I'm so happy I found this community and made this thread. I broke up with him over text message and explained to him how you talk and treat me is not how you're supposed to talk to anyone, let alone your girlfriend, who you're supposed to love that I hope he changes for the next girl he dates because he's a miserable person and no one deserves his abuse. I blocked his number. 
I'm sure he might try and show up at my house, but I just felt like I need to end it as soon as possible. I think I'm going to take some time for myself since my self-esteem is still in the gutter, but thank you all. Heart emoji. Oh. Look at that. Thank you, Reddit. I mean, it's so 100% obvious. Like, Yeah, I mean, I, that's a good ending. So Yeah. So really quick, I, I, I don't know who gave me that sound clip, but that's specifically the Final Fantasy VIII victory theme. Yep. But I would like to mention that this is, ba- this is basically the Peloton ad. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I the Peloton that. ad isn't, isn't that way, though, because I think that I mean, I, people like to, like, make fun of that one for that. But I'm fairly certain that the start of the Peloton ad is he gets that for her for Christmas and she had asked for it. Yeah. Yeah. She had wanted a Peloton because she want, And that's the key. She wanted to do that. And so yeah. he got it for her. It's not, I want you to, you can be, I mean, honestly, that's a difficult thing. Like, how do you talk to your partner about their physical appearance? If there's something you want them to change, it's just as it's simple. You have to be caring. You have to be loving. You have to understand, you know, that, and you, and, and you have to just say, Oh, I just want you to, you don't want to say you want them to look better. First off. Yeah. You know, you, it, you, it's you like different if it's look. just like, uh, aesthetics versus like actual health concerns. Like if it's like, yeah. I think we should all like, I think we should start working out together to get in yes, better shape. Or that whatever. is 100% the way it needs to be done is there's no way you can tell your girlfriend, wife, whatever you need to work out more and look better and be healthier. And then, I, but I'm not going to do anything, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, like, no, no, you have to say, we're going to do this together. You know what I mean? Cause you're, you're a couple, you're in it together. You don't, you don't push that on someone else. Unless you're, you know, like a guy, like you said, who read a bunch of negging articles and, and started gaslighting his girlfriend and are trying to make her thinner. Yeah, and I think it has more to do with him seeing her just as, like, a representation of him. Like, oh, if my girlfriend is X amount of hotness, that reflects on me as a person, as I am a good person because I got a hot girlfriend or something. Yeah. This is what I was able to get. Like, yeah. That's not it. Yeah. It's a literally like objectification. Look at my objects, you guys. Look how pretty it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real piece of shit. Anyway, get some get some masks if you're going to go out shopping. Yeah. Duct tape your face. Take Shower your in aquarium cleaner. Dump your boyfriend. Dump your boyfriend. Delete Facebook, area. hit the gym, socially hit isolate, cough on your grandma. Um, Boomer remover, yeah. Boomer remover. Yeah, are people still saying that? Like, or or is every, Not everybody? So much, but everybody's sure pretty it's... pretty much been like, oh shit, uh, never mind. I guess we should take this seriously. I mean, yeah, we can still take it seriously and call it boomer remover because it still does disproportionately kill boomers yeah not good thing. and cancer patients people. fuck those guys no. right right <laughs> right there's one thing i always say it's that i don't like a cancer patient i mm. say it all the time right it is yeah true. what have they done for society <laughs> oh i don't like this anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah i like i don't even want to joke about this because it's not even that I'm afraid it's going to get taken out of context. It's just that it feels gross. Yeah, no, it feels I can, bad. I, I can get as far as standing in the doorway, but I can't step <laughs> in. So how about those AOC feet pics? It's fine. God, I, I can show I my feet on camera. Can I just? I want. The... I want. Yeah. I want equality. I want gender representation i want to see bernie's feet show me bernie's feet pics Ooh, i bet there are some like pretty bad feet yeah some gnarly old man feet isn't there a wiki of celebrity feet oh yeah i think it was just called wiki feet or something yeah yeah all right let's 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 end the podcast before we get too deep into wiki (laughs) let's get a wiki feet also um, I am eight out of ten episodes into Happy Season Two. Matt, you should finish Season One and watch Season Two. I do. So really? I, because of circumstances that are beyond my control, I only remember part of the first episode. So I'm That's gonna have to do some rewatching. Wiki feet. 
I'm gonna be on a list. I don't care. But I do like who's the ma the main guy in that thing. I like him. Uh, Christopher Maloney. He's yeah. the guy who played. Uh, he was the uh, the chef on Wet Hot American Summer. Um, he was also one of the main detectives in Law and Order SVU. That's it. Should that should that be our new end music? It could be. <laughs> I I can't do it right now because I'd have to get it ready. But like I'm down. Maybe for that. he'll surprise us next week, and we'll see. Maybe. Anyway, you can you can run the music now. Okay. Yes, the music that we always have. Ah, yes. All right. So you can find <laughs> me at matthegmusic.com, twitch.tv oh, slash matthegmusic. I'm uh, on the hell website, twitter.com, John underscore danger. I'm on Twitter. That's at mayofman 84 Also what? find me on Twitch. I hope but, to start doing stuff again. But bornin'the80s.net. That's born in the 80s. Net. That's What's a that? website. Born in the 80s. Net. You should go to that. Born in the 80s. Is, dot net is the website. But yeah, more and I am yolo420.com slash born in the 80s. Come talk to us on Discord. I, I need people to talk to. You. That's right. And I am Spanky. You can find all of my best work at wikifeet.com slash Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. She's on there. I know she is, but... Of course she is. But but Bernie's not. I checked. Oh. Sad. Come on, Internet. It's 2020. Get with the program. I, I, thought, I thought AOC actually, like, intentionally put her feet on here. But I don't know. I don't understand foot fetishes. I think I understand yeah, adult baby fetish more than I understand foot fetish. I'm, I'm sure well, it makes spectrum, more sense. I'm sure there's a spectrum of foot fetish. Some that comes from like being dominated by the lowest part of someone's body. Some of it is just it's like a hand, but not. Yeah, I guess like when, like I've heard people talk about like a beautiful foot, and I'm like, all, all feet are just horrifying monstrosities to me. I know, I know my nose. Especially my own feet. feet. Like, I'm already getting old man feet. They're just a fucking horror show. <laughs> I should put my feet on <laughs> that website. Like, it's just like AOC. Uh, let's see here. Uh, she's got uh, four out of five nice feet. Uh, <laughs> she's got 239 uh, beautiful ratings, 138 nice ratings, 134 okay, 67 bad, and 106 ugly. Oh, there's some, some haters here. Shoe size six point five. John, uh, before we go, can you do me a favor and see if Joe Exotic's on there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Noted Corona not... sufferer Joe Exotic. We this needs to be remedied. Um, There's got to be feet pics of Joe Exotic out there. Uh, let me let me think of let me see what I can get here out of Joe. Uh, I could get you. Um. Uh, Joey Lauren Adams. I don't know who that is. She's chasing Amy. She's that. She's in that movie. Mm. Is Are that there any men on this site? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. So it's not just Ted like Ted Cruz. A... I need to see Ted Cruz's feet. I don't think that they have that. Oh, I think it is mostly women, though. I will say, Ted. There is no Ted's on here. Oh no. Are there any men? What's a hot man? Uh, 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 Chris Hemsworth feet. Hemsworthfeet.com. <laughs> Spanky, Chris register it. <laughs> Hem. No, this, there's there's no men on this. This is all women. Oh. oh. I guess, okay. Racist. So I guess this is Ooh. a fetish that specifically people who are interested in women have. I want them Chrissy Teigen feet pics. I guess right like here. man feet are even grosser. Oh, I mean, what about, yeah. what about uh, like Frodo? Are there hobbits on there? Yeah. That's like the no. bear of the bear version of feet. It's just these giant hairy feet. Now, I feel like having looked at this uh, feet pick website, um, almost everyone has like five stars. Yeah. <laughs> Seems I like feel they... like you don't show up on that website if yeah. you're below five stars. Five out of five stars. You've shown me your feet. All right, fuck it. Let's let's end. Let's this. see if Gal Gadot's feet are, are well. Imagine Gal Gadot. 
No, I think it's Gadot. She has five stars, gorgeous feet. Gail Gadot's feet, imagine. She also has size nine, two, so that's pretty big. Got big Isn't feet. it actually pronounced Gail Gadot? It's, I don't fucking know. That's the closest. I mean, she's like Israeli, right? So it's there's like subtlety to the pronunciation that yeah. I'm just never going to pick up on. But it's not Godot. I know that much. I, I there's a lot of Gal Godot feet picks on here, but I will say Gal she Gadot. has 2,477 beautiful feet ratings. Mm. Dang, that's pretty good. She does have some hot ass feet, what ab- I assume. What about someone who has been in a Tarantino movie? like Uma, um, Uma Thurman? Uma Thurman? Great feet. Yeah. Great feet, Uma Thurman. Great, gotta, have, feet. gotta be top, top feet. Wonderful oh, feet. She's 4.2. She does have size 11 feet. She has a very big feet. Ah, uh, yeah. so Tarantino is more of like a tall. size man. Yeah. Uh, what's wait? What was her name? Who's the actress that was in uh, whose bare feet? Margot Robbie's feet were in that movie. Uh, let's see here, Margot. Margot Robbie's got five. Yeah, we're still stars. streaming. TJ, gorgeous feet. Four thousand four hundred and forty-one gorgeous feet ratings. Dang. I mean, yeah. Her feet were heavily featured in Once Upon a Time in, uh, what was it? Uh, Hollywood. Wikifeet. Wikifeet.com. Check it out. We like that. My bad. I still had you all muted from right night. So let's do this again. Okay. Now let's let's start it up. All right. Ready? All right. This is John talking from his normal volume location and microphone. This is Matt talking how I normally talk. Sunday, Monday, happy days, Tuesday. Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. I was going to sing it, but I didn't want to sing it because I wanted to make sure we had the mic. Saturday. Right. What a day. What a day. My Michael phone. Michael phone? <laughs> My wife is still asking about JD. Your wife. <laughs> Your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy. Uh, <laughs> Comedy. Uh, you guys YouTube remember night. that movie? Borat. Funniest yeah. shit I've ever seen. Oh my god, yeah. Do you guys remember that movie Borat? Funniest yeah. shit I've ever seen. More like bored <laughs> at. Who's this pickle that called himself Pickle Rick? The funniest shit I've ever seen. Pickle Borat. My wife asked me not to do J Date. She's I'm not the boss of you. Kind of is. Okay. Fine. Get it? Oh, uh, well, the old wives. Ball and chain. <laughs> uh-huh. I hate my wife. Father, I cannot click the book. <laughs> I cannot click the book. Uh, fucking A, dude. That's like what all humor was. I'm getting the doc set up because we haven't used it in like humor. A year. More like bo- boo What were you doing last week? Don't you shut the door on me. You're fucking signing up for a dating website and mildly saying, I hate my wife. <laughs> 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 my oh my wife. god my wife <laughs> well she's lucky that jdate costs money <laughs> so it's as far as i got was opening up the website also i think dating is illegal right now that's true honestly i don't know what people that are in the dating world are doing i Matt, wonder how what like up. tinder as a company is doing right now if they're just like well fuck I gotta find like, guys. Of course, J date causes costs money. You know what kind of people use J date? Single views, people. The views expressed by Southern man <laughs> Spanky. I know. Southern man. <laughs> Southern Florida man don't need us around anyhow. I, I, I'm I'm actually thinking more along the lines of those long man commercials from Japan. Long man. Oh yeah, I've seen those. They're like stretchy taffy thing yeah spanky has no clue what we're talking about but you need to see the long man commercials it's great yeah long man? just go on youtube and you find a video that has like all of them put together and just yes, I'm in it. 
Oh, it's it's fine. There's undertones, but they're not real. Mm -hmm. There's overtones. Undertones. Undertones. Is there is there mighty mighty boss tones? Yes. That's the impression I get. There's tone loke. Two tone loke. There we go. All right, I got some good Reddit ships for this week. More like Reddit ships. No, I agree with that (laughs) one. (laughs) Do you have the uh, the thing we need the 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 Rona update? Do you do you want the sound? Yeah, yeah, the, the the music, so we can do our Rona update. Okay, let me just. Where did I put that? There it is. I Which one's best? Did this one? Yeah, that's yep, the one. Yeah. That's one. Do you want to start with that? No. Um. Uh. Actually, I don't. Is there any like news about that? Everyone's dying. It killed more people than 9/11. Um, do you want to start off our comedy like podcast that. with that? Let's do it. All right. Ready? 9/11. <laughs> am I right, guys? <laughs> With that, let's start the podcast. (laughs) Okay, not not the music. Come on. (laughs) I'm going to introduce myself. All right. Here we go. 